Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Monday, November 9th. I'm DeVoy. And I'm Emily. And this is your WCAT News. Hey, Wildcats. There's 15 days until Thanksgiving. Fun fact, there was no turkey on the first Thanksgiving dinner. Wildcats, if you're interested in softball, conditioning will begin tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. on the softball field, and meetings will continue every Tuesday and Thursday for the month of November. The ABC committee are still hosting their annual food drive until Friday. Students and staff can bring in non-perishable items to their first period class to compete for a donut party. Items will be picked up by Miss Vegan students and sorted into baskets for our ABC students. Now for today's weather. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with warm water and soap, and this is one of the best ways to prevent illness. Anyone who's interested in lacrosse this year, there will be a meeting after school in the Media Center at 2.15 on Wednesday, November 18th. See Ms. Garrett or Coach King if you have any questions. Now for today's Lunch and Sports. Now for today's news feature. My name is Rod Cow, and today we're going to learn about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is always celebrated on November 11th, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. First, I need to tell you what a veteran is. A veteran is someone who has served in the military, also known as the Armed Forces. At Veterans Day, it's a day where we honor those who have served in the military. Did you know that the military has five parts, also known as branches? The Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard. Together, they all serve to defend our freedom. Kind of a big deal. Respect. So if you meet a veteran, ask them what branch they served in, and then tell them they're awesome. The reason we celebrate Veterans Day on November 11th means that is the day that World War I ended in 1918 at 11 o'clock on the 11th day and the 11th month. An armistice was signed to end the war. An armistice is an agreement between two opposing sides that ends the war. Everyone was so glad that the war was over that the next year, 1919, 100 years ago today, the U.S. declared November 11th as Armistice Day to celebrate the ending of the war. It was called Armistice Day every year until 1954, when President Dwight D. Eisenhower changed it from Armistice Day to Veterans Day because he wanted to honor all service members, past and present. And that is why we celebrate Veterans Day, to honor all service members who have served our country to defend our freedom. Pretty cool. And that's your lesson on this day in kid history. Broadcast Cal, out. Make sure to pre-order your yearbook before the end of the year. After the new year, prices will rise. Seniors, the extension to get your senior photos taken ends November 14th. 
If you haven't scheduled to see your senior pictures yet, go to gigantesproductions.com or call 813-907-1078 or you will not be in the yearbook. Thanks for watching Wildcats. If you have any kind of social media, follow Wesley the Wildcat and then make sure to follow WCHS News on Instagram for more updates. That's, That's all for your WCAT news. news. Have, Have a great, great day, Wildcats. <laughs> Why?